go to the chart. The chart always tells you, okay? This is from evening to evening right here. The ninth day of the month at evening. That's that. To the tenth day of the month at evening. That's here. You didn't even afflict your beans on the tenth day. <laughs> You, you stopped the fast before the Day of Atonement. Before you found out what your <laughs> sins have been atoned. You, you, that doesn't make sense. Now let's go to sunrise and sunrise. Let's see if that makes sense. Sunrise and sunrise. He says, afflict your beings from the evening of the night. Right? Right here. To the evening of the tenth, you end the fast right here. Then what do you do? Well, this tenth day is still here if you're going from sunrise to sunrise, right, guys? That's what you're saying. Exactly. Why? Because after your sins are atoned for, now you can feast before Yah. What happens when you transgress somebody? Are they going to sit down and eat with you? <laughs> but if this is the day of forgiveness... I'm going to forgive you on this day. And after you're forgiven or atoned or you're covered, now we can feast together. Okay? That's why he said the evening of the night to the evening of the ten. Okay? And then when you go to uh, Numbers chapter 33, but Bibbar chapter 29, Shlika, uh, verse 7, what does it say? And on the tenth day of this seven month, you shall have a co holy convocation, mm. and you shall afflict your souls. Mm. You shall do no manner of work. All right, that's all I want. So in, in, in Numbers, it confirms it. It says on the tenth day, you shall afflict your being. Okay? But you start it here. Why? Because you're going to get a 24-hour fast. But at the end of the fast, you get the feast before Yah. You get the break fast, as they say. Because your sins have been atoned for in the same day. Then y'all said, what, 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 uh, uh, then there's a scripture that says, you know, don't let the sun go down on your wrath. Hmm. I know y'all remember that. It's the same way here at evening. I'm not going to let the sun go down on my wrath. I'm going to atone for you before the sun goes down. And now we can feast together. That's right. Okay? All right. So I think we covered that pretty good. Um, another one. Let's go to uh, Shemuel chapter 20. This is about Daniel and, and Netanyahu or Nathan, uh, some call him. This also is going to confirm the, uh, the uh, morning to morning versus the evening to evening. All right, keep going. Let's go to the right, and then we'll come back to the chart. Uh, Shemuel, 1 Shemuel, chapter 20, verse 5. Um, let's read it. And the we said to Jehonatan, See, tomorrow is the new moon. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. See, we got to find out what tomorrow means. He said tomorrow is the new moon. Does tomorrow mean in the evening? We're going to find that out. Okay? And I ought to sit with the sovereign to eat. Mm. But let me go, and I shall hide in the field until the third day at evening. Ah, so he said until the third day at evening. That's the first thing we need to pay attention to. we said until the third day at evening. Now, let's see what the final arrangement is. Let's go to verse 12. And Yehonatan said to Dawi, Yahweh Elohim of Yisrael be witness. Mm-hmm. When I search out my father sometime tomorrow. Uh-huh. Sometime tomorrow. Or the third day. Or the third day. And see if there is good toward Dawi. And I do not send to you or disclose it to me. Ah, so now we have the definite. He said tomorrow or the third day. Now we'll find out if he said if he requires or seeks out his Abba's heart on tomorrow or does he do it on the third day. Let's go to verse 26. But Shaul spoke not a word that day, uh -huh. for he thought, it is an accident. He is not clean, mm -hmm. for he has not been cleansed. 
And it came to be the next day, the second day of oh, the new moon. Oh, so the first day happened. Dawid wasn't there. The second day comes. All right. Let's keep, let's keep reading. What happened the second day? The second day of the new moon that Dawid's place was empty. Mm. And Shaul said to Yehonatan, his son, Why has the son of Yeshahi not come to eat? either yesterday or today. Now it's customary to have evening meals on these new moon days. Okay? Alright, remember that. So the first day Dawi wasn't there, the second day he wasn't there. That's right. Shaul asked his son, Natan or Natanyahu, or Natanyah, why is Dawi, why your boy Dawi not here? Basically what he's saying. Okay? Let's keep going. And Yehonatan answered Shaul, Dawi earnestly asked my permission to go to Bethlehem. And he said, Please let me go, for our clan has a slaughtering in the city, and my brother has commanded me to be there. And now, if I have found favor in your eyes, please let me get away and see my brothers. That is why he has not come to the sovereign's table. Mm. Then the displeasure of Shaul burned against Jehonatan, and he said to him, You son of a perverse, rebellious woman, I do not know that you have chosen I do not know that you have chosen the son of Yeshai to your own shame and to the shame of your mother's nakedness. Mm, so he's getting upset with him. For as long as the son of Yeshai lives on the earth, you shall not be established. You and your reign. And now send and bring him to me, for he is the son of death. Mm. And Yehonatan answered Shaul, his father, and said to him, Why should he be put to death? What has he done? At that Shaul hurled a spear at him mm. to smite him, and Yehonatan knew that his father had resolved to put Dawid to death. All right, so now he knows that, that his father's evil and he got bad intentions toward Dawid. All right, let's go. And Yehonatan rose up from the table in the heat of, dis, of displeasure and ate no food the second day mm. of the new moon. So he ate no food the second day of the new moon. Day two of the month, all right? For he knew, for he was grieved for Dawid because his father put him to shame. Okay. And it came to be in the morning ah. that Yehonatan in went, the morning, all right? That Yehonatan went out into the field at the time appointed with Dawid. What time was appointed? What day was appointed? The third day was appointed. All right, let's keep going. And a small youth was with him. And he said to the youth, now run and find the arrows which I shoot. Okay, we'll just leave it right there. He came to him at the time appointed. Remember Dawid said on the third day of the evening? Yohannes then turned it to the third day. All right, let's go to the charts real fast. All right, evening to evening. He said tomorrow is the new moon. That means they were talking in the daytime. That means that when the evening came in, that was the new moon. Dawi wasn't there. Shaul gets mad. Okay, this is the evening and evening. The second day, Dawi's not there. Shaul gets mad. That makes perfect sense, doesn't it, guys? The only problem is, it says the second day, he was eating. His daddy hurled a spear at him, right? And then he got up from the table and left. And then the morning comes, and he goes to deal with Dawi. There's a problem with this. That's still the second day. The time appointed was the third day. That's right. Now let's go to sunrise and sunrise. Tomorrow is the new moon. Okay, they talking sometime at night, sometime in the day, whatever. He says tomorrow is the new moon. So they understood that. The day comes, evening's coming in, there's no, no Dawi. Dawi's not there. Okay? Day two. Show they having an evening meal, feast is normal. Dawi is not there. He hurls a spear at your, uh, Netanyahu or uh, Natan, and Natan gets up, he leaves. The next morning, on the third day, he gives the message to Dawid as they talked about. It adds up. It adds up. All right? Let's go to the next slide. 